Good morning, everybody. It is Monday 20th of December. Christmas week! Jennifer's in nursery. Paul's downstairs having his breakfast. And I've come up here to get logged on ready for work. I have read a few pages in 20s Girl. So, yeah, enjoying it so far. It's all right. Let's pick up another book. Uh, so, yeah, I'm getting through it. I have read a little bit more in Bombshell. But I do find it hard to read because it's so badly written, I think. Um... And while trying to establish Rothmuller's credentials, it comes across as very, oh, whoa, poor me, poor me, poor me, poor me. Oh, it's all about me. And it's just annoying. So, so I, I, I totally agree he did have problems when he was in the uh, OCID and LAPD um, that were the fault of the department. But he also caused problems while he was in the department. I don't know the ins and outs of it, but he left under a cloud. Um, both sides were at fault, so I'm not going to get into that. But, yeah, anyway, I'll tell you a bit more about when we actually get onto the Marilyn stuff. Other than Peter Lawford, who was never a reliable witness, because he changed his story more often than I changed my underwear. And that's sometimes twice a day, depending on what I'm doing. Um, you have to take everything he is with a great big grain of salt. I mean, when I say grain, I'm talking about, like, a salt flat. <laughs> So yeah, anyway, enough of that. I am going to get myself ready to start work. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll just moan all the way through this vlog. I won't start work and then I'll get into trouble at work. So I'll see you later. Bye. Oh, Jennifer's playing with the toys. Oh, they're dead. Hello, Paul. You all right? Um, Paul's working hard. Doesn't want to pee. <sighs> Been to mum's. Now, if you're wondering how our dinosaur we bought the other week is going, I'll show you. Just counted him into a bigger bowl. So, here he is. Yeah, horrible. <laughs> it was horrible when he started coming out. So, he wouldn't go back in that egg anymore. He's definitely far bigger. Anyway, I'm going to have a cup of tea. It's got a nice cup of tea here, sitting on an angle. This has come Colour in Heaven, Gods and Gosses by Josh Lee, I think it is. Looking forward to that. I'll have a look at that in a minute. Might do a flip through later. If I have, you'll have seen it by now. I've got to upload last week's weekly vlog, so I'm going to do that in a minute. Cat's here. Hello, cat. My polychromo is with me, so I can colour. Because I feel like colouring in Christmas traditions, which is Fabiana Atanasio. Have a cup of tea. I'll see you in a bit. Let you know how it's going. Jennifer thinks she's a cat now, like Zed. Yeah. Come on then. Yeah. 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 A bit close to the lens, Jens. Yeah. Well, cats climb on things. I don't see you climbing anything. Yeah. 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 Oh, there you are. Hello, puss. Yeah. Puss. Oh, he's a good little pussy cat. <laughs> Silly girl. Okay, everybody. Everybody's in bed. I need to sleep. <sighs> I'm really tired, so I'm not going to read for very long. I might just read a few pages of Bombshell. I'm so tired today. It's been a busy day. Um, I still got pull stuff to wrap. I must try and know that tomorrow night, I think. Send to bed early and uh, get it done. Anyway, Monday, done. Tomorrow is the 21st, shortest day, so it can only get better from there. I will see you then. Bye. Good morning. It is now Tuesday the 21st of December. Happy Yule. And of course, the shortest day, which means after today, the nights start getting slightly longer very slowly, which is wonderful news. Because let's be honest, these short nights, these long nights and short days are killing us all. <laughs> it's not that bad. Um, I'm just getting set up to work and I will be then going to get sausage and chips, hopefully. Take Jennifer to Mum's, chill out down there for a bit, then come home. She says we've got to tidy up. It's not messy. It needs hoovering, but it's not messy. Coffee table needs clearing. I'll clear that off and make sure it's clear for Christmas morning so she can put her toys on it. Bless her. She's so excited. Uh, and so am I because it is nice for her. 
I love it. So happy. I'm looking forward to it. I've still got presents to wrap. I might try and wrap uh, Paul's tonight when I come up. Ah well, all go. Anyway, I better get on and get myself uh, logged in and ready to get going because, you know, four days and I get a week off. Hooray! <sighs> Exciting, isn't it? <laughs> I love it. No, I do. Anyway, I'm gonna go. I'll see you when I finish work. Finished work and back home. Jennifer's been given a small selection box. Oh. Nursery, and she's currently stuffing a Fredo the frog in her gob. Oh. Making silly noises because I wouldn't let her carry it downstairs because he didn't want to be carried. Here he is, he's going into the kitchen. Oh. Smile, look, it's you. Oh. oh dear, that's not good, is it? She loves playing with her Peppa Pig. Don't you, Jen? <sighs> How many peppers have you got? Five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You've got lots of figures, haven't you? Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You have your figures. And cat's oh, under the tree again. It must be Danny Dog. Woof woof! So now Jennifer's in bed. <laughs> it's time for adult desserts. Sticky toffee pudding in custard. Oh yes, baby. Give it to me now. Mm -mm. Good morning. It is Wednesday, the 22nd of December. Yes, the longest, the shortest day. I hate to say longest. The shortest day has passed. Very, very slowly, the days will start getting longer. Very, very slowly. Um, I've got my new swivel chair from work, from the office. So I've got proper back now. I've got a cushion I can put behind it to give me a bit more support, which I probably will use at the moment. And yeah, it's nice. It's got rests, armrests on it and everything. And it's like so posh. Um, I'm gonna get my computer set up, so I'll work. We're coming straight home today. We're not going to mum and dad. Uh, they're one of the presents that dad ordered. Has now arrived. Way. So. Don't know any other one's coming. I'm gonna call my mail in a minute. Anyway, gotta get started. What are my plans today? So we're coming straight home. I'm gonna try and read a bit more of the book 20s girl because I haven't read that for a couple of days. I have been reading on my phone. So I've got one more to put on my Goodreads challenge. Oh, well, not Goodreads challenge, but on Goodreads because I finished another book. These, these cozy mysteries are so easy to read and they do help you fill up your your challenge so anyway I better get logged in and ready to go I'll see you in a bit bye yeah. finished work now and I'm at home with Jennifer and she's she's tidying up bless her she's running around putting things in the washing machine and putting her toys away and the cat looks a bit confused bless him but she's so sweet just running around I'm trying to tidy time. up we nearly tidied. Yeah, Good girl. I need to put the in the bin. In the bin, oh, yeah. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. no, that's your pajamas from the other night. The cat looks a bit confused. Daddy. Hey, Zed. Do you want to see what's going on? My oh, good girl. I don't know who didn't have food. He had food, he's alright. Can you say hello? I'm gonna look down here, guys. No, you're in a funny mood. Okay, look on the other side. It's just had cheese and crackers in here, that's all you wanted for tea. Oh! At least you had some in. Goodness. Cat's climbing everything. He's been climbing the door state, literally. He's up on her toys at the moment, yeah. trying to um, climb the wall. What was that? And there he is, he's fallen down. Hmm, that wasn't very safe, was it, Zed? Don't lick me, it's weird. You're weird, <laughs> but gorgeous. Uh, huh? Look, 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 watch him. He doesn't understand what's happening. No, Jen, stop it. Jennifer, you being a cat again? Or are you just exercising your tongue? 
No, no twerking. Honestly. God knows what she's going to be like when she's a teenager. We don't want to see that, Jen. It's not going to know. You're funny. You are. We love you. I always said to myself, I'm going to be the You finished now? Okay. When my students see me, I want Ow. them to know what that we're doing? about to have fun, but we're also going to learn She's mad, I tell you. She's so sweet. You're the best girl. Me, 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 me. That's enough. Right, so I've already done bed. It's only half eight, but I'm going to watch some YouTube on my phone. I put a TikTok up today of Zed climbing up the doors. Go watch it. It's on Andrea Life, one, two, three. So funny, he is so funny, bless him. So, I'm worn out, I'm tired, I can't wait for my week off when I'll be tidying up this room, my library, getting it all sorted. My eBay stuff's in here, my colouring stuff, it's all over the place, it's a right mess, I've got to sort it out. I've done hardly any colouring this month, I'm just, this happens every year, it gets to the summer, I'm so busy, I just haven't got the time, and then when I have got the time, I want to do other things, like reading. I'm about halfway through 20s, girl, and it's all right, but I find the girl a bit annoying, to be honest. The, both of them, <laughs> the ghost and, and the main character, they're a bit annoying. But I will persevere, and I'll probably finish reading it this week. <sighs> so, I'm back so you so I'm going to take a couple of painkillers. So, it's only paracetamol. And, uh, I'm going to watch a bit of a... YouTuber I found and I can't think of his name But I'll remember and I'll tell you tomorrow. He's really good. It's an urban exploration guy Good fun. Good fun. Um, yeah I just I don't know what I'm doing so I'm gonna go call it night and uh, tomorrow I'm gonna do a bit of shopping. I'm gonna be making a shopping list tomorrow. It's only gonna be a few essentials to get us through Over the weekend so things that we're gonna need like bread and milk um, Just to get us through to when the shops reopen so we've got plenty of food in the freezer some sauces chili sauces pasta sauces beer for pool all that stuff i'll check my bank see what money i got not a lot i might get paid tomorrow i don't actually know <laughs> i've just lost the plot with pay this year i've got a clue um, but i'll see you tomorrow bye Good morning it's thursday the 24th the 23rd not 24th that's tomorrow of december feeling a bit down don't know why. Maybe it's the weather getting to me. Um, bit wheezy. That's probably not helping. Tired. Don't want to work. But it's got to be done. So I'm going to log on to my computer. Ooh, the battery's nearly dead. I'll change the battery in a second. And uh, I'll start my day. Now I have to go shopping later. That's probably another reason I'm not in a good mood. Take my dad. Get a few essentials. Bread and milk. Just to tide us over the weekend. Because we'll always go next week. You don't need a major thing. I've got everything else. So we got Christmas, we got sorted for tomorrow, we got Christmas dinner sorted, sorted for Boxing Day. It's just bread and milk really. Um, a few other bits and pieces, I'll get some curry sauces in. In case you don't feel like going out on Monday. And that's it really, I'm off, I'll see you when I finish. Bye. So Jennifer's gone to bed, I haven't done any vlogging today, I don't know why, just haven't felt like it. Paul doesn't want to be in the video. Feeling a bit rough, isn't you, because you had your booster today. Yeah. Yeah, bless him. He's alright, don't we? Just sitting here chilling, watching Adam Mark Explores on YouTube. Gonna do a bit of wrapping later. Do it upstairs, out the way, I think. Because everything's upstairs apart from the wrapping paper and the sellotape. Um, what am I doing with my book? I said I'm about halfway, well, nearly halfway through it. Here it is. And on page 169, but I really don't like the characters very much. Maybe it's because I'm a lot older and they're both in their 20s. The ghost, she was 105 when she died, but she's reverted back to being in her 20s, you know. And the main character's in her 20s, hence the title 20s girl. And this girl was 20, in the 20s, in the 1920s. So it's all that flapper stuff, but they're quite immature. So it's a little bit... But yeah, it's okay. It's classic Sophie Kinsella though, so I will persevere. Hey guys. So I've come upstairs. Paul's gone to bed. Jennifer's asleep. I'm going to wrap up some presents for Paul and my dad. 
It's my dad's birthday. I've just got to get the birthday paper from the other room. Um, this is his birthday one. And I actually bought myself a Marilyn calendar. Now, last year was the first year in 30 years that I hadn't had one. So I made sure I got one this year, for next year. I'm gonna get that paper. I'll see you in a minute. Oh, hello. It's gone a bit... Um... There we go, wasn't on the right set and that's why it was a bit funny then. So the only paper I've got for birthdays is this pink unicorn paper we bought for Daisy. So Dad's going to have to have that, I'm afraid. So I'm going to sit and I'm going to put on YouTube on my phone. I can't bother to put the big TV on. Last day of work tomorrow, Dad's birthday. Oh, I'm knackered, I tell you. Got Paul's stuff to wrap up. I'm going to do a little bit of that now. I like to watch a bit of YouTube at the same time. I I don't know what tablet is. It's probably got no battery on it. I'm so tired. Sorry, I do apologise. And then I'm going to um, chill out. And uh, I was going to bring my book up to read and I forgot. So I'm going to actually start the next book, which is a Titanic one. And I will just grab that and show you it. Just a sec. Because we are reading as well. Now, what's that there? Oh, that's me. Speaker. Sorry, I've got a speaker there for... Uh, Bluetooth speaker for when I listen to me audiobooks. Like when I'm doing the, I might actually put that on while I'm wrapping up for a change. Uh, when I'm doing me wrapping, um, me washing and that, I normally do this, uh, have a audiobook on. So I might actually put that on because uh, I want to listen to Hogfather. So although I've started another book, I might put Hogfather on because obviously that's a Christmassy story. So the book um, I've got is called The Story of the Wreck of the Titanic. It's a 1912 Memorial Edition. There's a picture of it on the front. And basically, it is uh, tales of the survivors are told with chilling immediacy this breathtaking. So basically, this is statements and newspaper articles taken at the time of the Titanic sinking. So here is a, uh, let me just uh, change the camera around. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I don't want to look at that. Some pictures that are in the book. So that's the iceberg, an iceberg, a grand diamond room, dining room, Captain Smith, the wreck and sinking of the Titanic. So this is it. Graphic and thrilling account of the sinking. Um, including the history of icebergs, the terror of the seas, wild celebrity and modern shipbuilding, the stories of the survivors. Oh, what a burial was here. Not as when one is born from his home. So the writing is very old fashioned and it's, so it's dedicated as well. Dedicated to those who by their arts and deeds followed in the footsteps of Jesus who suffered on the cross and so on. So yeah, it looks uh, interesting. Lots of pictures. It's the rescued people. Uh, does it say oh, it's this way? Oh, it's a, an image of the t t the ship sinking, and the the image of that. So it's quite a nice little book. Well, it's not a little book; it's over three hundred pages. But yeah, I think uh, be a nice one just to delve into. So I'm going to start that one because I left my other book downstairs. But I'm going to get wrapping first, and I'm going to listen to my audio book. I'll let you know how I get on. Yeah, well that's all done. All uh, wrapped up now. I've got any more to do. That's really weird. Am I sure? Yes, I am. His main present isn't getting wrapped up. He knows what it is. It's in a massive box. Same as my present isn't getting wrapped up because it's in a big box. Mine's a TV. His is a homebrew kit, which you will see Christmas Day. I'm listening to Hogfather on audio, at Audible, and I'm going to do and do that now. And I'll see you tomorrow. It's Christmas Eve tomorrow. Only two more sleeps, people. Good morning, everybody. It is Friday, 24th of December. It is Christmas Eve. Yay! So it's uh, my dad's 81st birthday, so we'll be seeing him later. Jennifer wants to open her presents because he's told her that she's got some there, which is annoying. He shouldn't have told her that. Zed's up here with me. I didn't sleep very well. 
Paul didn't sleep very well, but he had the jab yesterday, so he never does when he has it. I just couldn't get off to sleep for some reason. Don't know why. Just felt bleh. Still feel bleh. So Zed's exploring. I don't know what, but he is. I'm going to get ready and do my final shift for the year. Yay! I'm not back to the 4th of January, so that's fun. And yeah, then we'll see what happens this afternoon. Bye. What we doing, Jen? We're going to the pub with Grandad, are we? Yeah, And why are we going to the pub? Because it's Grandad's birthday. Yay! Happy birthday! <laughs> 25 again. 99 again. You've <laughs> 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 been excited about it all day, haven't you? Grandad's birthday. <laughs> Yeah, but she won't drink it, she just wants the ice. That coat is Jennifer's, yeah. No, we're talking about your coat, Jen, you're fine. Eat, eat, your, eat your ice. Well, we all want fish and chips, except for Jennifer who doesn't want anything, she's just eating a bowl of ketchup. <laughs> Alright. Camera. It's for my Christmas night vlog, my weekly vlog. Because it's Dad's birthday. <laughs> okay, so it's Christmas Eve. Jennifer's sound asleep in bed, waiting for Santa to come. Paul's just gone to bed. I've just gone to bed. Um, we it's not late. It's, it's not even nine o'clock, but I, we're, I'm shattered because I didn't sleep very well last night. So I want to read, watch a bit of TikTok and try and get some kip. Um, Dad had a nice evening, which is the main thing. Um, one of the bar staff, Richard, bought him a pint, which was lovely of him. It's a nice pub. They're great guys up there. Love, love the Prince of Wales. So, yeah, turkey's in the fridge, now it's defrosted, it's pretty much defrosted. Dessert, which is a chocolate roulade, I should have got cream for it, but I didn't, I just didn't think. It doesn't bother me, uh, it's probably rich enough without it. That's defrosting in the freezer. Uh, the coffee table's cleared. We've got the uh, new Christmas vinyl tablecloth. I have a vinyl one because Jennifer makes a hell of a mess and she'll probably end up covered by paint by the end of tomorrow. Um, so there's that. That's all done. Coffee table's cleared, ready for her to put her toys on. Batteries are there if we need them, which we will. I'm just shattered. Absolutely shattered. So I brought my book up. Um, I brought my Kindle up to charge. I do need to change something on my neck galley, I need to change the Kindle address because it's an old Kindle. I've got a different one now, so I need to change that to the new uh, uh, email address for the new Kindle. Oh, it's hard work it is. And then I can go and uh, read that um, book. I am so tired. So, I might do that tonight. I'm going to read a bit of Titanic and a bit of 20 years ago because I want to try and get through it, so... Anywho, I will see you in a little bit before I turn out the light and go to bed. Let you know what I've done. Okay, so I'm going to go to sleep now. I'm going to watch a bit of TikTok first. So I've read a few more pages of 20s Girl by Sophie Kinsella. It is interesting, but I am kind of... I'm not enjoying it as much as I would have 10 years ago if I had to read it then. Or Do you know what I mean? If I was like 10 years younger, maybe I'd enjoy it more. It's alright, there's nothing wrong with it. I've got the jowls here. Um, nothing wrong with it. It's just me. I am enjoying it. I'm starting to like the characters a bit more now. They're a bit, they've got a bit more depth. Although this silly girl and her ex-boyfriend trying to get him back. It's like, get over it. We all do stupid things. And the other book I'm reading is The Titanic. The Story of the Wreck of the Titanic. Which was um, originally published in 1912. This is the memorial edition. And it really brings the people of the Titanic back into focus as real people and not just as legends so I mean you think of Molly Brown and the Strausses and the Guggenheims and the Astors and all those people and they're kind of like famous celebrities who you don't know about like from years and years ago they're legends now 
they're not real people. It's only when you read about these people, like for instance Marilyn, Jean Harlow and Elvis um, and so on, that you find the human behind the legend, behind the, the image. And it, it's the same as this, here in the stories the, from the people who were on board the Titanic at the time. So you've got the, the rich passengers, but there's also tales from steerage passengers that survived and second class passengers and the crew that survived. One of the first, one of the stories is, is about um, Major Archie Butt who knew the president and how he helped many people into the boats, fending off people, uh, trying to rush the boats, particularly um, some men that panicked and who can blame them, we would all panic and uh, got as many women as he could. The story of Captain Smith plucking a, a, a small baby from the ocean and, and giving it to somebody on a uh, still alive to a person in one of the lifeboats. Um, it brings these people back into fo focus as human beings rather than victims of a, a, a legendary tragedy, tragedy, which is what they are. But it does bring them back into focus, which is brilliant. So I am now going to watch a bit of TikTok. And then I'm going to go and get some sleep. As you can see, I'm really tired. But I'm quite content. I'm happy. i got my baby's asleep. She's going to wake up to her, her stocking. Because I think I heard Santa just a little while ago. Which is nice. And I think she'll be happy soon. I'm hoping she'll enjoy what she's got. nice isn't it a bit of christmas and of course we've got a week off so there'll be uh, potentially some good vlogging next week of us playing various games and stuff going on i do need to make a channel update as well because i haven't posted anything on the channel for a while other than the weekly vlogs but that's it i'll see you tomorrow morning which is christmas day and yeah i will film a little bit i'm not gonna go mad because you know, some things you don't want to film. I'll probably film Jennifer with some of her presents. But uh, there won't be much tomorrow. But I will film a bit. I will see you later. Bye, guys. Merry Christmas, everybody. It is seven minutes past seven. We've been up a little while. Um, the cat was hurtling himself at the door and hanging off of it. So we come to get him. And I found him hanging off the door. And when I took him back upstairs, and now he's climbing over everything, I saw Jennifer had opened uh, all the stuff in her stocking and was sitting on her bed looking at it. And here it is. Jen, what have you got? You had a Peppa Pig surprise, which had Zoe Zebra in it, didn't you? A rubble. Pens, books. A Velociraptor, wherever he's gone. Here. He's there. Yeah. Like a Velociraptor? Where's, where is the... Where's the duck? Oh, where's the duck? We'll have to find the duck and some other bits and pieces. And we'll do proper presents later. That's one of your presents. That's my mm. present. Are you going to open it? Big black sacks in the way of oh, present. Oh, it's a Peppa Pig boat. It's a special Peppa Pig boat. Do you know why, Jen? Take it in the bath and it'll float in the bath. Yeah, I got it. When you have your bath next, we can take that in with you. Oh, it's my Peppa Pig. Yeah, and it's, it's Grandad it's Pig. Some, some more? Some more what? There's lots for you. So that one you can take in the bath. Yeah. That one will go in the bath when you have your bath next, okay? Okay. This is so cool. You can have one more and then mummy and daddy can do some, okay? That one's mine. Okay. Yeah. Daddy's present turn there. got more. You got lots more you have. You'll be opening presents until tea time. You're gonna help daddy with his? Yeah. You help me? I don't think I'll do it, will you? Oh, you can try. The strong girl. Uh, oh, that's it. Well, that's done it, isn't it? I is it a. Is it, what is it? Oh, wow, what's that? I don't know. Oh, look at that. What's it, that? It's a mug. It's a mug. Um, no, no, no. Mug. Now it's your yeah. turn. It's a mug in the shape of an amp. It's your it's a funny mug, that yeah. is. Daddy likes that. Well, uh, Daddy'll have to sort out my presents. Yeah. 
Open it? I don't know. He's gonna let him open his mug and have a look at that one. Oh, Two I... mugs today, you lucky bugger. It's a square mug in the shape of a lamp. Oh, it's amazing. It goes up to 11. You like it? Yes. I need a drink. You. you need a drink. What do you want, Alan? Milk. All right, okay, some milk. It's a Peppa Pig camper van. You got a Peppa Pig camper van? It's a Peppa Pig camper van. Do you know all the toys, Jen? You like that one? I'm not. I know it's my turn. <laughs> I let Daddy open one. No. Okay. All right, do you want to open another one? I... Put that down there, we'll play with it afterwards, shall we? I... I How about you open this one? I think this is from Uncle Chris. Uncle Chris, yeah. To you, Jen. To you. I think it's that one. It's two books in there, I think it's. Yeah, it's from Uncle Chris. Remember Uncle Chris? Let me open it. Oh, Uncle Yaya. Uncle Yaya, he's You got two from him. I... I bought that off the pub tomorrow. Yeah, all right. Oh, oh my. Yeah. It's a dinosaur coming back for me. Oh, maybe that's only one book. Then. No, it is two books there. Yeah, you got two. It's um, from Uncle it's Chris. Two from Uncle one. Chris, that is. Two from Uncle Chris. I want to. I, I, I want that one. That's yours. They I've got one and that one. Yeah, that's all yours. Should we give Daddy one? Yep, I... Bye. This is my cup. Right, then draw again. Right, so... Oh, hang on. Oh, we've got... Oh, hang on. This one next. Yeah, this one is for... Happy Christmas, Daddy. Thank you. Thank you. Christmas. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jennifer's opening everybody's you presents. You're opening my presents. Yeah. Well, he's not capable of opening presents, is he? They're all hard. They're hard, isn't it? It's hard for you. Oh, it's hard. Oh, look at this. It's a folder to put your sheet music in oh, for your guitar. Folder. The proper one. My turn. Oh. Yeah, your turn. Thank you. Here's another one from Uncle Chris in New Zealand. I be from Uncle Chris in New Zealand again, that one, alright? my turn. That is your turn, that's yours. Your turn. Ah. It's not the bin flying. It doesn't matter because there's rubbish everywhere now. Look at it. Uh, that can all go in the recycling later because it's not got sparkly eye. Okay. Right, we'll give you a hand. There you go. What? What's this? You just did this pepper pig. Mm hmm. Yeah, pepper pig. I duck it. I'll pull it. Right, so where's which way around does it go this way? So you open it up and you've got. Paints. That's for me. Yeah. Look, watch this. And you keep this afterwards and keep things in it. So don't wreck the box. There's markers and a notepad. And in the bottom there's pencils and crayons and things. Look. Yeah. You like that? Yeah. That's from Uncle Chris, okay? This is for me. For you from Uncle Chris, yeah. Uncle Chris in New Zealand. Should we give Daddy another one? Um, why is now my turn? You just had your turn. There's another one for you, Daddy. Oh, thank you, sweetie. Yeah, you will. I don't know what's in there. No, I know you don't, but I wrapped it up with Daddy. It's from Ashton, isn't it? Nah. Where is the heart? Let's have a look. There you go. You just think there'll be more later as well. Oh, what's that? It's, oh, what's a good one? It's a, it's a puzzle. It's a puzzle, Jen. It's for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a Tetris puzzle. You so put you put the blocks in the thing, but you could make patterns with them as well. Look. And... See? So we we'll play with that later together. Take the piece out. You put them all back in, don't you? Yeah, in the right Where's way. That? Okay. Well, not much more. One more for Daddy apart from his big one which is outside. Right. Let me open that one. Oh look at this. Can Daddy open it? Can Daddy open it? Yeah. What about Jennifer? What about you, Jen? We love you. That's for me, yes. That one's for me. 
That's all the daddies now, apart from his big one in the hallway. Big one. Yeah, I'm not dragging that in. You'll have to bring that in yourself. Oh, no. <laughs> what have you got there? I got a Peppa Pig thing. Oh, it's the characters. Dress up figures. The all the characters, look. Look at that, Jan. You happy? Good girl. Good girl. A little smile on your face. Isn't she it? has got a lovely smile on her face, isn't she? This is for me. It is for oh, you. We love you, Jan. Both of us. We love you so much. Oh, Daddy loves you. I put that on the floor. Should we put that oh, over mommy there? Loves you. Mommy loves you too. You gonna give me a kiss? It's um, this my turn. Is it your turn again? Well, in that case, I don't know what this is. Uh, I think this is from yeah, this is from Granddad Mervyn. From Paul's daddy. Daddy's daddy. From, from Granddad Dad. Mervyn, alright? Granddad Mervyn, Jan. Yeah. It's from me? Yeah, from Granddad Mervyn. Oh. I spent a little bit of the money he gave me. I bought a, I bought a book. A rare book. It's a game. It's a game, isn't it? Looks like a game. Be a game, I don't know. Oh, I don't see it yet. It's not out. It's a game, hungry, uh, hungry hippos launchers. We, we, oh, wow. We flip the balls and try and get them in the food. Oh, they're going to go Daddy everywhere. We'll have to put the cat out of the way. Daddy's turned on one. No, that's my, me, I think. Oh, Aww. Daddy. Last present now. Last present now. For the time being, anyway. There'll be more later. What have you got? Tabletop air hockey. Air hockey. Oh, yeah, that'll be fun. That is for me. Yeah, we put it on the table and we can play it. Not at the moment because it's a mess. What do you think? I think I, I want to play with my tablet. Oh, that's alright, fair enough. I want to play with my my bike have a picture. Well, okay, off you go then. I'm gonna pick up this rubbish in a minute. Yeah. So first lot of presents have been done. Dinner is in the oven. The cat's going crazy, doesn't know what's going on. Bless him, keeps hiding. Get out me coke. <sighs> Got a bit there, Jake. Jen's watching crap TV. And uh, we're waiting for Paul's mum. She'll be in a minute and then we'll have to do all the presents thing again. <laughs> Great. Here we are, Christmas dinner is served, isn't it, Jen? Lovely. Yeah, do you want to get you a glass of milk, right? Well, yes, there's just loads of it, I'm afraid, Sally. Well, it's a big one. Yeah, we don't have to eat it, we'll just eat what you can. Is that alright, Jen? Good. Mm. Yes, have some gravy. And then Paul will come and sit. You like broccoli, don't you? You're a good girl. Jennifer's just got another present. From oh, Jess, our neighbour. Oh my, it's a nice little car, put it on there. And yeah, she's not well, so her her mum, who's also a neighbour, brought it over and we're gonna open it up. It's really heavy. Bring it over, let's have a look. Sweet. Hang on. There you go. What is it? Oh, it's a big box. Oh wow. Oh wow. I still can't see what it is, but is it? That? It's a cooker! I would want that. It's a toy cooker, that's lovely! It's a cooker. Yes. Wow, that's very nice of Jess. Oh, it's oh no, I lift it up for you, okay? Three. So we'll have to put this together later. Not three, three. Maybe we'll put it together tonight when we get back from Granddad. Me and Daddy will do it, alright? Yeah, it looks I, really I, nice. I and you're gonna help? So you happy so far? You you enjoyed your dinner, didn't you? Yeah, you liked your turkey and your mash and your veggies. And she had extra broccoli because she stole all the pools. This yeah, is the only yeah. kid I know that loves broccoli. I want that. Alright. I want this one. Well, you have to get the remote for me then. Alright. What? He's, he's up the way. Hey Zed, you can come and say hello. I stand on his tail. Oh, no you didn't because he didn't squeak. No. He's alright. He's a bit I, bewildered. I, I did a squeak because I, I did it so... I, he's having a look at the wrapping paper now. Why What? Well, give it to me, I'll do it for you. I know how to put it on.
I know, I've got to get to it first. There you go. Oh, we went too far. Hang on. Oh, Jen, I've lost it now. It's too difficult. What do you want to watch? Oh, you want Gillian and Addy? Yeah. All right then. Okay, mm. yeah, Good boy. There you go. So, that's dinner and dessert over with. Sally's gone home to her little dog, Shadow, because I don't want to leave that little thing girl too long. Jennifer's running around like a mad one. She's had too much sugar, I think. And in a minute, we're going to go down and see my mum and dad and do it all again, apart from the food. We're not doing food. No food. That's you. It's you and me. Come here, baby. Me and my girl. I love you. We're at mum and dad's now. And opening presents again. Jennifer's gone mad so opening everybody's presents. There's, there's Grandad there with his hat on. Oh, more shortbread. Jennifer's just unwrapping everything because she likes unwrapping <laughs> things. No one else is allowed to unwrap anything. Right, what's we got? Who's that for there? Where's that one I had earlier, the thin one? I'm home from Nanny and Daddy's now. I've got my jam jams on. Oh, not me. You're going to put yours on in a minute. You're putting your pair on. I want it now. These nice soft ones. Put them on in a minute and we'll show everybody, okay? And I've got a nice I glass. You should, when, when you put them on, we'll show them, yeah? Nice glass of wine in my Marilyn glass. It was a gift from a few years ago from my friend Anne Harrod. I'm going to drink the hat because I didn't have much at lunchtime because we drove down to my mum's. I had to drive. My hair's wet, so it's got a bit kinky. It looks quite... I look quite vintage at the moment, don't I, Paul? I'm, I'm dry. My head's dry. Yeah, it's dry now. It's absolutely hammering You're down now. Mine's still a bit damp, I know. But it looks quite vintage. I look quite movie star. I also am wearing Kiss Me Coral Lipstick by Revlon. Which allegedly was the lipstick that Marilyn wears in Something's Got to Give in 1962. I've actually got two sticks of it because, you know, you've got to make sure you've got enough. It's a nice colour. So we're going to get Jenny in her pyjamas and then we'll show you. Don't twerk. How many times have I told, tell you not to twerk? Honestly, classy ladies don't twerk. Movie stars don't twerk. Movie stars pose Forget face. with rubble on the double. <laughs> I love you, baby. She is with her lovely jammers on. Show them off. We've got little pets on them. We've got a tortoise and a cat and a sausage dog and another puppy, another kitten, and there's a rabbit somewhere. They're great, aren't they? Do you like them? They're nice and soft, aren't they? They're very, very soft. Like my dressing gown. It's me, me and my girl. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, so it's only about eight o'clock, but I'm shattered. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. If I wake up, I wake up. I was gonna take my makeup on, put some cream on my face, but yeah, I'm absolutely shattered this evening. I just, I just can't, I just can't stay awake. So I'm gonna go to bed and try and get some sleep. Paul's reading downstairs. He'll probably come up later. Um, I have been reading. I tried to wake up. I had ice cream. Try and wake me up. The cold. Nah. I'm gonna open this window and let some cold air in. It's just so warm downstairs with the heating on, and you need it because it is cold, especially for her and him. They really feel it. I don't feel cold as much. I just want to go to sleep. I really just want to go to sleep. So I'm going to call it a night. So Sunday tomorrow, Boxing Day. I'll see you tomorrow and we'll see what the day brings. I know that we'll be playing lots of games, putting up her present from Jess, which is a, like a wooden cooker thing. Um, I'm 
probably sort out my new TV tomorrow. Uh, we haven't done it. I'm just too tired. We'll do that tomorrow. And I'll show you it tomorrow when it's done. I can't wait. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Jennifer got us up at 20 to 7 this morning. But she's all right. She's watching TV now. We've been playing with a little cooker thing that she got from our neighbour, Jess. Here she is. Pretty girl. And I've nearly finished reading... 20s girl it's gotten very very good very very good so from being less than impressed because of the way they were behaving it all worked out in the end so it's actually gone up a star rating because the the end the payoff is brilliant the payoff is absolutely fantastic so i'm going to finish this now and then i might go and read something else and try and finish my titanic book and jennifer are we going to read your book tonight we're going to read your numbers book yeah. about the animals on the farm. Yeah, you like that one, isn't it? We like that book, don't we? The counting book with the little animals. Yeah. <laughs> we might do some colouring later. Should we do some colouring? There's two U's. There's two U's? Yeah. It's there? Yeah. Yeah, you're lovely, you are. And two U's. Yeah, it's me. So it's Sunday. Evening. We haven't done much today because we're both knackered. We did put up her cooker, which I'll show you later. And we're going to go Nanny and Grandad for some food now, aren't we? She's on a certain set of clothes today because she went down the park with Daddy and got soaked because she sat on the slide and on the seat, which was wet on the swing, didn't you? Oh, you beautiful. Mm -hmm. You're a good girl. Come on, we're going to go now. Go see Nanny and Grandad. Yeah, good everyone it's Sunday evening and who is in bed and I'm getting into bed I'm gonna read for a bit might watch a bit of TikTok might film some tomorrow I'm tired um, I finished reading 20s girl I'm glad I did because the payoff was really good so and um, I am now trying to finish the story of the wreck of the Titanic which is as I said heartbreaking and brings it all back into focus I've not got much to go I'll try and finish that either tonight or tomorrow. Um, I'm on around 217 books this year, which I think is quite amazing because last year I couldn't even read 75. I think I hit 57 last year. Just goes to show it was hard when she was really young. Now she's getting a bit older. It's easier because she does other things. And we do play a hell of a lot together, but sometimes she wants to play on her own. You know, she'll go and sit and she'll play on her own for ages and ages and then she'll say, Mummy, come and play. I'm like, oh, okay. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed your week with us, especially over Christmas Day yesterday. And um, I'll get this uploaded and we'll do it all again tomorrow. I can't say this next week's going to be as exciting, but we are off all week. I'm going to be tidying up this room and getting it ready for when she goes back to nursery because she'll be in later and I'll be able to get some eBay done and some filming. So I'm really happy about that. Uh, so I've got to get this room sorted, so I'm going to be having a good go at that this week. So I'm trying to start that tomorrow. I'll see you then. Bye.